hi beautifuls welcome to my channel i hope you are all having an amazing day so this is your safe place but today's reading is going to be a little bit different um it's going to be about the person on your minds sexual fantasies about you so if you are under the age of 18 <laughs> please don't watch the video okay <laughs> you can look at my other videos but um, not the, not this reading so if the <laughs> under 18s went <laughs> from the video I explain the reading to you we'll have three different piles as always you are going to choose one of them and before doing that i want you to meditate for a while okay it's like this uh, you'll pause the video then you'll have some deep breaths to clear your mind while you are closing your eyes okay and then uh, please picture okay imagine the face of your person in your mind and ask to them what's your sexual fantasies about me okay what do you want to make to me <laughs> you can ask either way and then after focusing a little bit you can open your eyes and which tech is calling you okay I'll introduce you then um, this is going to be pile number one with the clear quartz and it's the star card from tarot pile number two is going to be three of pentacles or three of coins and the stone is rose quartz pile number three is going to be page of pentacles with the moonstone so as i said you can do the process the meditating process um, on the decks and then i'll begin with the pile number one time steps are going to be uh, in comment section okay or in the description i wrote i wrote uh, both of them so let's do our reading so pile number one welcome back to reading so let's see your tarot cards and i am going to censor some of them <laughs> okay <laughs> because you know the images are a little bit much <laughs> descriptive this is funny <laughs> and here yeah, actually you can see them but let's try our chance okay okay this is okay let's see the rose here yeah and these are some of those sweet cards so let me check <laughs> it from my camera yeah i think it's yeah it's okay okay so let's see your reading we have aquarius aquarius again capricorn taurus and Sagittarius as zodiac signs but um, 
these are not meant to be your person's zodiac sign okay you can think them as the general energy or maybe actually that can be okay some of their signs in their birth chart but um it that is not a must okay that is not a must so let's see your reading hmm the first thing i see here this person imagines you especially when you know you are asleep when you close your eyes when you are vulnerable when you are uh, unaware of what's happening like that can you see yeah that is really sexy <laughs> and hot for them and if you are not in a relationship they imagine you sleeping innocently and they probably want to watch you <laughs> while you sleep yeah and this person might be able to watch you for hours you know while you are sleeping <laughs> this is what i am seeing here because you know these are uh, four women yeah they are like you know they close their eyes they are vulnerable they are not aware of you know <laughs> anything it's like that you know it's this scene like that so maybe they are not considering themselves as you know very bold and maybe for some of them they can be one of your best friends okay if this person is truly a part of your friend group they may not know how to make a move towards you yeah if this is your partner of course they can be also your best friend you know because if you love someone then it will become uh as your best friend but you know if you are not in a relationship i believe that can be some of your friends yeah they are genuinely compassionate and very caring you know towards you can you see tender feelings between you two compassion card it is as if they yeah if they have a chance to sit with you they can watch you talking for hours and hours you know they love to listen to you they love the uh, your voice and your voice can be very sweet and very uh, how can i say appealing for them you know your voice yeah And also, I was talking about your voice was appealing to them. And then my husband came from my side and just scared me. So <laughs> I had to cut the video, sorry. So right now I'll continue. I was saying also, um, it's like their voice is appealing to you yeah and maybe they are playing a musical instrument you know like this guitar yeah and if they uh, play an instrument they might want to sit down for hours and playing the guitar for you or singing to you yeah 
maybe they are good at singing songs okay so maybe they are also making good jokes you know <laughs> just like my husband scared me <laughs> yeah so let's come to the sexual fantasies yeah as i said before it seems like they enjoy you enjoy watching you especially when you are not aware of this yeah they are driving some pleasure from uh observing your body you know can you see it's like this yeah your body and your curves yeah i think you have some uh nice curves yeah they like to watch it but they are also like you know embarrassed <laughs> to watch you from you know this distance but they want to make um bold moves towards you and it seems like um this person specifically interested in your you know chest area because in all of the images we see chest area is emphasized yeah whether your breasts are small or large it doesn't matter by the way this person seems to have a particular fascination with your chest and also a uh, belly area can you see it's your belly they are touching it yeah my light just <laughs> comes here okay and if you wear you know um crop tops or you know corsets like this can you see this woman wearing corset mm -hmm. it capture their attention you know they want to see you in sexy lingerie and you know in sexy bras <laughs> yeah colorful sexy bras and particularly they want to make love with you outdoors perhaps on a beach by the sea under the shining stars and the moon yeah and they want these uh, intimate moments for hours and hours and actually this is not just about you know having sex it's about touching you watching the moonlight and the stars on your skin you know the light on your skin your skin your skin color your appearance seem to be very captivating to them you know it's like um your skin reminding them of stars and the moon yeah this person wants to make love with you <laughs> in you know an open space what i see yeah most of them are open place outdoors but they don't have a specific reference for you know positions yeah what matters to them is your pleasure and being able to watch you while you enjoy yourself okay <laughs> they love to see that yeah they love to uh catch you 
off guard okay it's like this person here this man is coming but the woman is not seeing him yeah they prefer uh spontaneous moves rather than you know planned encounters yeah it uh, makes them very excited <laughs> yeah they love to do that and when you are distracted um, busy with something else you know when you are busy with other things or maybe you know sometimes you just come out of the bath and you know getting dressed yeah they want these moments to have sex with <laughs> okay these are the best time these are just you know mind-blowing for them yeah but they actually very care for you and they want to treat you like a goddess because you know especially in the star card we see the uh, goddess of abundance okay and here also again in the star card it's like um, um, a form of worship yeah they may see you as a goddess and maybe especially uh, associating your breaths you know with the theme of abundance it's the idea of abundance because you know uh, breaths are <laughs> supposed to be uh, full of milk when um, we became a mother so it's like you know the abundance the food <laughs> so they see you like you know a superior creature a goddess or a celestial being yeah and they want to protect you with here the four of pentacles and cherish you you know cherish you but i believe this person is very jealous of you and it is not uh because they don't trust you it is because they don't want to um, lose you okay four of pentacles is like that it's the um how can i say S mind state of you know um mean shortage so they don't want to lose you and also maybe they want to have this intimacy in front of a fire okay maybe also a campfire you know um intense tent okay <laughs> so I think that's all pile number one. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, this is the first time I am doing this kind of a reading on YouTube. So uh, I love to see your comments and also I love to see you in my channel. So please subscribe to my channel. That really motivates me and uh, give a thumbs up. And as I said, leave a comment below. So. I wish to see you in other videos. Until then, take care of yourself. Bye! Pile number two, welcome back. So let's see your tarot cards. Oh, okay. Again, we must censor this. Mm. Yeah. Is it necessary to put it here? But I couldn't know. <laughs> and the last one to censor. Yeah, I think it's okay. And these are some sweet cars. So <laughs>
file number two. Let's see. Let me talk about the zodiac signs I see first, but um, this is not a must. This is not uh, the you know the indicator of their zodiac signs. It doesn't have to be, but if it is on the your birth chart, then you can take it as a confirmation. But it doesn't have to be because what we are seeing here is the uh, energy of the zodiac. So Capricorn, pure fire element, Ace of Wands. Uh, so Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo can be. Uh, seven of Chalices, so Seven of Cups, Scorpio. Four of Swords is the Libra, and the Ten of Pentacles is the Virgo. So, because of the Virgo, um, maybe there are some, yeah, virgins here. Maybe this is the first experience for you. Or for them okay maybe this can be so let's see when I first look at the re reading what I see is someone trying to suppress their emotions and desires for you because you know it's the control suppression of feelings and needs so you are like a need for them yeah you are a must for them yeah and especially if this person is not uh, yet your partner they might be having some difficulty in expressing their feelings to you okay and also maybe being in a serious relationship a committed relationship um, may not be easy for them okay but it seems like um, they are gradually becoming bolder because we have to make the move be bolder in your actions and the competition make sure your crush knows about your feelings so it's like right now they want to be more courageous and if this person is currently your partner, um, maybe in the past um, they weren't acting boldly. Yeah, but this is not the story right now. They have changed. Yeah, they have changed. So this person truly wants to open up their feelings and if they haven't done yet they might fear losing you to someone else you know because according to them you are perfect you know for anyone every man every woman would want to have you you know and it's in terms of both um, emotionally <laughs> and sexually yeah anyone would want to have you so here we see the two of pentacles or two of coins so a couple making love in a kitchen perhaps this person uh, has fantasies about making love with you in the kitchen okay and maybe they love to eat your meals you know when you prepare cook for them they love to eat this they might they may find your cooking as you know healing nourishing and delicious <laughs> so if this is vice versa maybe they want to cook for you you know either you or they may work in a profession that related to cooking uh, because you know i see some 
um, talented people, some talented chefs here. <laughs> so, and also when I look at this card, I see an interesting position. <laughs> so, woman and man passionately kissing with closed eyes and the woman is in the man's lap so maybe they want to make love with you in that similar position <laughs> yeah and they definitely want to make love in you know kitchen and what i see here you know eating is our basic need you know it's our basic need and for this person uh, making love with you is their basic need and it is inevitable you know this is a must yeah you are like a source of life for them <laughs> so looking again we see a fire element a team of fire so maybe um an intimate encounter in front of a fireplace yeah i know how um that's a cliche but you know that's the scene we see a fireplace and the man and the woman and especially if you are thinking about getting married of or if you are newlyweds <laughs> maybe uh, they might want to go on a honeymoon in a room with a fireplace <laughs> and while you are asleep they have desires like um, you know touching your stomach your belly stroking your hair yeah they want to see your pleasure and ecstasy and from outside they may appear very masculine very strong very muscular but when it comes to the making love with you um they are very gentle you know they're very gentle but if you want them to be rough uh hard then you'll be like that yeah it is according to your desire they can be both gentle or hard <laughs> But this person truly understand your desires, okay? They understand your desires. And while making love with you, they uh, genuinely close their eyes, surrounding themselves to you with their whole soul and body. And they want you to lose yourself in the same way and surrender yourself to them with your entire being that is their fantasy okay that is their fantasy because you know for them uh making love with someone is the entire winning of two souls you know two souls are marrying each other so what we see else hmm yes they like um hands okay they love their um they love your hands but also they love the job of hands okay yeah they like this they love this because um touching erosing the other person um with hands is a way of pleasure okay they want to give you pleasure with their hands and also they want to enjoy your hands yeah <laughs> this is beautiful for them and also um they might want to buy some toys for you okay you know what kind of toys i am referring to and using these you know toys they want to give you pleasure and also um they will experience pleasure okay while doing this 
yeah i believe this person seems like you know from outside they seem like shy <laughs> okay uh, especially when it comes to expressing their emotions but when they come into the bedroom they're quite bold okay they are open to innovations and i believe they are very creative <laughs> yeah very creative <laughs> and also you know they were loving your cook but also eating something from your hands or something prepared by your hands like you know grapes apple strawberries yeah it is highly arousing for them <laughs> yeah when you eat something like that in front of them <laughs> you know that make them um you know upright <laughs> yeah upright like a sword <laughs> yeah but any touch any, gla any glance of you is enough when you touch them then you have a glance for them that is enough your beauty your posture can you see the posture yeah especially when you pose like you know uh, lying down it really seduce them and what i see here um if you want if you desire this person um, will love you like their baby but <laughs> they handle you you know like their enemy okay <laughs> they can be this hard but it depends on your taste okay they are capable of this so pile number two <laughs> very hot reading <laughs> okay very hot reading and the candle uh just you know burnt my <laughs> table so i put them here it's like you know when you two get together it's all about the fire fire and fire more fire yeah but it's really beautiful you are nurturing each other you are um giving life to each other you know it's like the fire life is like our life it's like the sun sun is the energy source of the world without sun we cannot live there can't be any life on earth so it's like you know when you are together it's the um relationship between sun and the earth and you are the sun and they are the world <laughs> so pile number two this was your reading i hope you enjoy it um this is my first time doing this kind of a reading on youtube so i hope you enjoy it and if you do please subscribe to my channel that really motivates me and i really want to see your comments in the below so i want to see you in other readings until then take care of yourself and bye pile number three welcome back to your reading so let's see your tarot cards and i'll censor some of them okay We'll need this. <laughs> okay. This is okay. <laughs> this is okay. So let's see the civet cards. <laughs> okay. Pile number three. Let's talk about the zodiac signs first. Uh, this is not a must, okay? But 
if your person if this person has some of these zodiac signs in their chart then that can be an indicator but it doesn't have to be um, what we like to see here is the energy of these zodiac signs okay so page of pentacles is the pure earth energy um, so we can talk about capricorn virgo and taurus five of wands leo six of wands leo again five of chalices is the cup so scorpio nine of pentacles is the virgo so maybe there can be some you know virgins here you are done i don't know but it can be so let's dive into your reading when i look at your cards the first thing i see is that um this person this person's feelings towards you have developed over time okay we see the natural evolution your connection with him with time so it's like um this person has been watching you from afar nurturing their feelings um developing their feelings for you yeah and while that is happening they might yeah there might have been someone else in your life you know when you met this person because we see a man and a woman here having sex and the other man is watching them and here in the five of chalices we see a silhouette of a man's face yeah and this woman is you know grieving is crying in front of that and the man is giving her you know uh, flowers yeah this person's feelings for you seem to have a uh, quietly process okay in a silent yeah and they appears to be unsure of how to approach you okay how to approach you they may have you know created some excuses to get closer to you yeah it's like the scenario so let's uh, talk about the exciting part <laughs> this person seemed to me like a very mature sensible strong person from the outside there might be an age difference between you and them and this person can be a little bit older than you yeah there's an age gap and they are the older one and perhaps not for all of you but for some of you um, this person may have experience and very you know serious long relationship or a marriage you know that gone through as divorce yeah it's like that maybe they have also children i don't know for some of them and maybe at the beginning of this you know uh connection to this person maybe you were between you know these two people yeah maybe there was someone in your mind and there was this person on the other side yeah maybe there was a confusion for you and you were um confused about whom to choose okay who is better for me who is um good for me so they are approaching you in a very cautious 
way. They are approaching very slowly, okay? And they really want to give you a sense of security, of okay? Because um, they believe your heart has been broken so many times before. Maybe you have been abandoned, you have been betrayed by others, you know, because of these cards. Yeah, maybe there is some failure in your relationship life. So they are planning, okay? They are doing so many plans with great care because they don't want to risk their chance with you. Yeah. So when we come to the sexy part, yeah, what I see with the page of pentacles, they love to pour some, you know, things on you, pouring some things. Yeah. It's like they want to lick some, you know, sweet um, things of you, like milk, wine or cream let me show it you now pouring some <laughs> water or wine or milk yeah and also maybe they just enjoy seeing you you know in that clothes okay <laughs> and even more seeing you with uh water droplets on you right after a shower <laughs> or maybe uh, seeing you in your own sweat okay in your own sweat yeah your sweat uh, might be arousing for them because you know um, everyone has a different sweat it has different scent it has different smelling okay so it seems like your scent your pheromones uh, your aroma <laughs> have a captivating effect on this person yeah your sweat your scent your smell is like a um, love potion for them and they cannot resist this okay they cannot resist it yeah they particularly love your neck and wanting to kiss bite or lick it <laughs> and it makes them um, go wild yeah what i see here also mm, yeah they are incredibly <laughs> fond of your um uh, hips your butt <laughs> your bum okay yeah they are incredibly fond of this your neck um your bum your butt and your hair okay your hair is very special for them touching your butt <laughs> your bum awakens um, indescribable feelings in them yeah it just very arousing for them this is very passionate you know <laughs> And what I am about to say may not apply to everyone, okay? Um, but for some of you, this person might take a great pleasure um, in watching you make love with someone else, okay? Because what is important for them is your pleasure, okay? you enjoying this taste you enjoying anything yeah and this is very interesting card it just 
I don't have it uh, gives me the creeps but how can I say you know we see a man cutting a strand of woman's hair so maybe they want to keep some special items that are related to you yeah perhaps really uh, genuinely want to keep a strand of your hair as a you know memento yeah because you know they love the scent of your hair the color of your hair and these are some precious memories for them yeah and also they want to bring you some flowers some gifts and it's like they want to ease your sadness and raise your bad beliefs memories from you know your past relationships with others they genuinely want to make you happy so hmm interesting maybe some of them uh, want to make love with you in a sea or in a pool <laughs> okay maybe um, in a shower okay because they love the wet stuff <laughs> yeah they like that the splashing <laughs> okay and you know if you cried in front of this person before they find you very innocent okay and your innocent and vulnerable state um, made you attractive in their eyes and maybe they embrace um, sorry they got em embarrassed yeah because of that feeling because you know you are in a uh, difficult situation so maybe they want to wipe away your tears and in return give you a pleasure so if there is there isn't a relationship between you and them yet um, they might be trying to get or some information about you okay by asking the others someone is interested and make investigation it's like they're investigating you yeah and they could be stalking you on social media okay and I believe um, they want to know all of your sexual fantasies also so if you got closer if you are if you two became in a relationship okay <laughs> I believe they investigate all of your fantasies and they will be like tell me tell me tell me <laughs> what do you like yeah maybe during sex they can ask you do you like it do you love it <laughs> <laughs> very, you know very caring person actually yeah they want to take you on a beautiful date make you feel safe and maybe just you know let you fall asleep in their arms yeah with a you know a sense of tranquility yeah very truly an intimate person but I believe this person has been hurt a lot by life by others so maybe this is difficult for them to be you know in a committed relationship or just express their feelings yeah and there is someone who loves to wear shirts and maybe looking very sexy in shorts so this can be them this can be you you know and if you really wear a shirt and unbutton a few buttons while standing in front of them I'm sure <laughs> it will make them very happy you know <laughs> yeah it is 
okay, it is, you know, just enough for them to get into action. <laughs> yeah. Pile number three. Very interesting, very interesting person. They can be very extraordinary. They can be very unusual, very unique. And you m may say uh, about them, like, you know, this is the most incredible person I have met. They are like Hulk, <laughs> Hulk the Incredible, you know. There is two sides of them. Yeah, Bruce Banner and the Hulk. <laughs> this is like them. And also Jekyll and Hyde. It's like this story. There are two different sides of them, but they're harmless, actually. So pile number three. This was your reading. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Uh, this is the first time I am doing this kind of reading on YouTube. So if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. That really motivates me to do more. And I like to see your comments about the reading in the below. So I hope to see you in other readings. Until then, take care of yourself and bye.